How's it going YouTube? Chris here at my home theater. I got a brand new video for you today. Been out here working in this room. It seemed like I ain't been out here that long. But, and I've been out here since about 6.30, 7 o'clock this morning. It's been kind of piddling around and bouncing around doing different things. And uh, I think I got quite a bit done. Still got a lot to do, but let's pan this camera around and let's talk about what I got done. So as you can see, I actually got this framed out and that looks much better. And I got to get it painted and I got to get it, you know, all the holes filled and everything. So, and uh, I guess you can see my Emotiva in there. Love this thing, got to get it. Uh, it's just turned on, there's nothing hooked up. I am waiting on my XLR cables. Um, they haven't come in yet. My adapters came in because this thing has male plugs on the back and these have male plugs on the back. So I had to order adapters and my adapters came in and I ordered them the same day. So my male to female, female to male, however you want to use it. They came in, I got 16 of those. So I'm still waiting on my, my cables order from the same place. So once they come in, we can get this bad boy hooked up. All right, so other thing, my direct live kit came in today. I got it out and looked at it. So I'll have to hook it up and download the manual and uh, we can get it hooked up. So let me talk about, got this door done. Same thing, I just cased it out. Still got a, a lot of put in and stuff to do. So it's, I mean, it's looking better. I guess I could shut this door. So it's looking a lot better. And it's gonna look good once I get it trimmed out. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the, I think I'm gonna do the trim in black. And then I'll do the doors in gray, the same color. That's what I'm thinking. And then of course my crown molding, I'm gonna do in black. And it's not going to touch the ceiling because I'm going to have uh, LED lights around on the inside of it so you can see. So let me pan this camera around so you can see what else I've been doing. So as I told you guys earlier, I had my hinges on, but I hadn't got my actuators hooked up yet. So I've just been watching videos, listening to some of you guys, and I decided to go ahead and put, put the insulation in. And even with this little bit, see, I need to trim this. I need to trim that. But even with just this little bit in there, I, I can tell the difference. And see all my foam I piled up in between here. And I'm probably just gonna get some more insulation and just try to fill everything in. Make it pretty solid. I think that'll work. But uh, it's definitely made a big difference. And uh, in the sound quality, as, as you can see, there's a movie playing now. So, but yeah, there's my hinges, as you can see right here. And what I did is to get it off the wall is I mounted this one before. It's just a prime one before I didn't paint it because you can't see it unless you, you know, raise it up. So, and then here's the black cloth. I had tried to show that before. And there's the black felt rods. And uh, yeah, see, I mean, I put this up in here and I got lights in here, so I can't even, I can't even turn my lights on now. So it won't even do any good, but Still, I think this is gonna work better. So I, I'll sacrifice the, the time and stuff I did to put the lights in to, to make it sound better. And like I said, I'm gonna try to fill everything else in. So yes, sir, we got that, that part done. Just need a little bit more. We'll let this screen down. Basically, I just let it go. It's <laughs> soft closed, like the hinges on the um in the kitchen so yeah pretty happy with how it looks and all so that's what we got today so i did something else yes 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 so let's look up here so there's two atmos three atmos 
I put all my Atmos speakers up, but this is what I'm going to do. So I know everybody was saying these are too close together. It would work if I was going to run these three, but I'm not. This one's already unhooked. I'm using this one and this one. And I'm going to use that one way up at the front here. And it might be too far. It might be too far, too close to the screen. I don't know. But that's what we got. And they're equally spaced. They're about 90, 90 something inches apart, 92, 93 inches apart, except for this one. But like I say, I'm using, I'm using this one, this one. <clears throat> and then when I hook my even TV up, I'll use this one, this one, and this one up here. And you got same down that size. So that was another thing I had to do this morning, run, run them, put, put these last four up. I had to paint, paint two. I had to, I actually had to paint the other ones, so. Oh man, it's just a lot of little finished work. And I still ain't got no carpet. Still ain't got no carpet. I've had to clean up where I drill them holes and stuff. Man, it's just, just getting all this done, guys, it's been a, it's been a challenge. But the more I do, the better it sounds. And I do think separating them two uh, sounds a lot better. So I can't wait to get this one up, oh, and uh, the elephant in the room, the big ceiling fan, yes. Uh, a lot of people might not agree with putting the ceiling fan in here. I wanna move some air. And once it's running, it's, I don't know what the deal is. I gotta check the power wire up there so something's not g -hons. I checked the power on it with my little, with my little tester here. And I didn't have any power on it, I had power before. I might have unplugged it and didn't remember when I was up there in the attic, so. But yeah, I want I want something that's gonna just keep keep <coughs> keep the air moving in here. Um, in my last theater, my, the last theater was huge, guys. You know that it's about four thousand cubic feet, and I had one vent in the ceiling, and it was hot and it was cold. So you know, I got vents in here, and this thing is is comfortable. It is really comfortable. But I want I like having some moving air, so I. I Decided to put the SEMA fan in, and uh, it's uh, I don't have to have a switch for it because it's it's remote control. I got the same fan in my living room. That's a that's a it's a Honeywell eight eight blade with LED light, and I really like it. I mean, it works really. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's that insulation and stuff from earlier has got me uh got me coughing a little bit, but I got a that's the spot that I fixed up there. So I mean, I've got to do some touch up work. <clears throat> and paint and all that so we'll, we'll get all that done because i say hey, i got to paint these and uh paint this trim these doors and this trim and i, I got some paint and touch up to do but uh man i'm getting in the short rows and uh i'm gonna try to like i said i took the day off i'm gonna try to um go somewhere here in a little bit if not today maybe tomorrow i want to go check on some carpet uh, Cause I got some other projects in the house that I got to work on too. But, but yes, sir, it's, it's coming together, and we are definitely getting into short rows now. And uh, especially with this getting this Ematiba processor, I'm waiting on the guy to get back with me on the amp. He's a friend of mine that he deals in a lot of electronics, a lot of high end electronic stuff, and he's got a a nice five channel amp. Uh, I tell you guys, it's Acram. So I'm just kind of waiting on him uh, to get back with me on that. Uh, I really like to add it. Be, be, be real cool. I could add it and uh, shoot, man. I mean, it's it's. I think it's like 200 watts a channel or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But uh, shoot, I, I'll I'll unbridge them 400 watts, which I don't know if <laughs> I already put really pushing 400 watts. I know the A-frame should be doing what it says it's going to do. They probably pushed them. Um, speakers, them RTI 9 is probably better than these will. So I run that on my floor speakers, at least, you know, five channels anyway. And then I'll do the back surrounds and, uh, and the heights with the, with the other amps. So got a lot of things in the works, guys, and I uh, hope it works out a lot of it. And uh, getting a lot done, just little by little. And uh, we're hopefully gonna be tying this thing up 
I'm saying the next couple of weeks. It may not be that long, but you know, I'll aim for a uh, ways out and make, might finish before. So I guess let's let's tie this video up. So that's what I got, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, what I got done today. Is it's just a little bit of stuff, and I mean I try to just you know update y'all as I as I get close to getting done. Uh, I think some of y'all say y'all enjoy the updates, so I mean I want to enjoy the updates, and I'm and I'm trying to get uh, my YouTube channel back up and running, so I've been posting a lot, and uh, it's been a lot positive from you guys, and I appreciate it. So, uh, well, today's Friday. I know I'm off today, and I know some of you are maybe already off work or getting off work here soon. So, hope you enjoy your weekend, and uh, man, if I can get some other things done. Uh, we might shoot us another video, especially if I get my, my cables if they happen to come in. I reckon I need to check the tracking on it. So uh, anyway, guys, enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you again real soon.